so you can see this is this is pretty loose this would be an adventure all oh, this loose stuff it's wet muddy sandy Hey, good morning, welcome back to Anonymous Biker USA. On the 23 Royal Enfield Himalayan. Um, waited about 35, 40 minutes to get started today because a massive lightning and thunderstorm was going on. You can see everything's still soaked. Because we're going into the woods and from the amount of water I see here, this ought to be a muddy day. We got a fun little climb on this mountain road to get to the trail. And I mean, just think at one time, this was a uh, mountain road. Probably an old Native American trail and a wagon wheel trail. But basically like a forest service road with tarmac. So we're going to go find something just like this. But it's still dirt unexpected thing is look at the fog up here once you start climbing man I can't see out of my visor see all that fog you need the sun to burn that off there's a sign sometimes there's not yeah no sign <laughs> and here you go dirt all right so what's the first thing we do we learned by now Ah, turn off the ABS. So it's dark back here. Shadows are tough to tell you on the uh, potholes, but it's pretty slick. Looks like some fresh gravel was put back here. I haven't been back here. Aren't I? Not this year, at least. Maybe I was back here last year. I don't even remember where this goes. Oh, I knew I knew we'd get somewhere before we had an obstacle. Tree down. Let's see what we got here. Easy peasy. Good thing I wasn't rolling on that one because I'd have got tossed off. Oh, oh, oh. oh! So, we've been going another, <laughs> I don't know, 20 minutes. There's that check engine light. Every time I go through water, it's that same code. I have no idea what it is, but it hasn't changed how this thing is. Whoa, neutral. It hasn't changed how this thing's running. Wow, man, look at this. Whoa. This may be the longest trail I've ever been on. They're a little standing up now. It's not as muddy as I thought it was going to be. That's for sure.
we go. Ugh. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, look how squishy and muddy it is back here. <laughs> it was a lot of rain. <sighs> What's this over here? I'm not sure if you can ride this. I mean, you can ride it, but I don't know if the the rangers will come after you on that one. So we're about four and a half miles back. I think this is 11 miles. Big downhill. Ooh, steep downhill. Oh yeah. Yeah, these downhills got washed out pretty good. Sit back down for a second. Go down. And, oh, look at that. Bumps. Boy, I wouldn't have saw those in the shadows. That's why these trail rides and ADV, man, every time you do it, it could be different because the weather changes the road. Our conditions always just change how it's going to turn out. I guess that's why they call it the adventure, right? Well, there's an offshoot there. Well, this trail's got quite a bit of offshoots. Oof. But it rock nailed my side tire. Oh! <laughs> okay. What are we coming up to here? Whoa, this is getting rocky. Holy crap! <laughs> Oh yeah, big rocks, big rocks, big rocks, big rocks! Okay, we have a change in terrain. Oh, look at this. Oh. Alright, now we're going to slow it down because this is, whoa, minefield time. Wow. That was, that was pretty awesome. So now we are climbing back up. Oh yeah, look at this. This is, whoa, washout city. Whoa. Better go down to first gear. Whoa, this is steep. Holy cow. Missed the gear, you idiot. <laughs> it's pretty rough here. This is awesome. Oh, look at this mess. Oh. Oh. Oh, did you hear that? And we got campers up here. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, 
this is crazy. Oh, big bump. No, big rock. Bam! Oof. There's another little camping outpost. Should we come back sometime and do this at night? Can you imagine that? Holy cow, would it be dark. I'd have to get the old, uh, him oh! I'd have to get the old Himalayan headlight out of there and get an LED. Because incandescent back here wouldn't do nothing. I'd probably get some fog lights too. Boy, this was so wet and washed out. Little tractor's going though, let me tell you. Sit back down. Alrighty, folks. Where is this going to come out? Man, we are literally traversing this entire mountain. This is pretty cool. That was another. Oh. Oh. Look at this, man. This is. Hey, oh, it's rocky. Oh, <laughs> that took me out of my seat. <laughs> Maybe that means stand up, you big dummy. Let's go back to standing. Oh, does this end? Oh, no. Oh, 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 the steepness of this. Holy cow. Oh, this is... Whoa. Yeah, this is steep. Oh. Well, we're going to first gear it here because it's wet, it's slick, and it's steep. To the point... <laughs> If I give a little break, I'm not getting grabbed. I'm still sliding. Alright. Now we'll get a little second gear action. Man, I'm sweating. This has been a, a good physical one. That was the Blue Ridge Wildlife Management Area. And that is part of the Smoky Mountain 500 ADV ride. And then you have this, but it is a dead end, another road, Forest Service Road 69 East. So I'm going to end here, make my notes so I can find these roads again. But I hope you had a good time. And we just rode part of the Smoky Mountain 500. So thanks for watching. And don't forget.